Marble is one of the most expensive rocks in the world. A block of it can cost half a million dollars. The ancient Romans built the Pantheon with it, and today it continues to be used in the most important buildings in the world. Every day, 500 tons of marble are extracted from the mountain, requiring enormous machines and powerful explosives. But how is marble extracted from the quarries? Let's visit a factory to discover how they cut and polish marble. In the northwest of Italy, one of the world's largest marble deposits is found. Marble has been extracted here since Roman times. At about 1,700 meters above sea level, one of the largest marble extraction quarries in the world is located in the hills of northern Italy. The white Carrara marble has been extracted here for centuries. A white line crowns the mountains that rise above the city of Carrara. This place was once a seabed covered with shells, but over 140 million years, these shells transformed due to the action of enormous tectonic forces into white stone peaks, which from a distance may look like snow-capped summits, but are, in fact, mountains entirely made of marble. The marble from this region is highly valued worldwide for its pure white color and its millennial history. The Carrara quarries have produced more marble than any other place on Earth. The entire quarry is worth more than a billion euros and produces four million tons of marble each year. A slab can cost up to $400 per square meter, and throughout history, it has been used to build some important buildings like the Pantheon in Rome or the iconic Statue of David by Michelangelo. With large machines, they extract the valuable rock from the mountain and transport it through steep and narrow roads down to the valley, from where it begins its journey around the world. These roads are dangerous, and every day, 600 trucks carrying 50 tons of marble each circulate through them. The quarry has 25 levels, with each level being 8 meters in height, and the total height of the quarry is 200 meters. The first stage of extraction involves drilling strategic holes in the mountain with drills to place 75 kilograms of explosives. The holes are 3 meters deep, and the explosives need to blast deep within the rock. Once the blasting is finished, the extraction of marble blocks from the mountain begins. 500 tons of marble are cut every day, and to cut it without damaging it, they use a cutting cable that goes through the marble as if it were cheese. The steel cable is reinforced with a series of round beads infused with one of the hardest materials, synthetic diamonds. There are various extraction methods for cutting the marble block. The workers can use a chainsaw that can penetrate up to 5 meters into the marble, or a 5 millimeter diamond wire saw to obtain the marble. The quarryman drills three holes, one vertical from the top and two from the base. A long saw placed on rails makes a horizontal incision on the bottom part of the rock. Once this cut is finished, the operation moves to the top part, and an operator passes a diamond cable through the rock to cut the back. The cable ends are then joined and tied to the flywheel of a 50 horsepower motor. With this machine, they can trim a mountain with high precision. The cable cuts through the rock while being continuously lubricated with water, which acts as a lubricant. The technique is repeated twice to cut the remaining sides until the block is completely detached from the mountain. At maximum power, the diamond-reinforced cable can cut at 45 meters per second. Sometimes large chainsaws can be used to cut extremely heavy blocks. The cutting process can take up to 10 hours. Once the marble block is cut, the next step is to remove the giant block from the mountainside. The block weighs 500 tons and is so tightly attached to the mountain that an excavator would be unable to pry it. In the past, the ancient Romans would sometimes insert wooden wedges into marble crevices and then soak them with water to expand and separate the rock. Instead of wood, hydro bags are now used. Water is introduced into the bags through a valve causing them to expand with a force of 600 tons. Rocks are inserted into the fissure to prevent the marble from moving as the bags expand. Larger rocks are added as the bags expand to keep the opening from closing until it is large enough to in heavy machinery. The excavator comes into action and stops when the marble balances on an edge, ensuring that it doesn't shatter upon hitting the ground. To cushion the fall, the block is landed on a bed of sand and mud. It is vital that the block falls correctly. The machinery gently pushes it to land on a soft mound of dirt. The giant marble block remains undamaged. Each block is eight meters in height, six meters wide, and weighs 500 tons. The blocks are too large, so they are cut into smaller pieces of 18 tons. The marble cutting is usually done in vertical cuts, but there are cases where horizontal cuts are made, depending on the morphology of the area. A diamond cutter is used to remove any defective parts. Once the marble blocks are cut, they need to be transported to the truck using an excavator. 
Often, the pieces are so large and heavy that even the excavator fails, and in such cases, they are recut using the diamond saw. In the past, the blocks were slid down the mountainside, but now they are loaded onto trucks. The trucks, with utmost care, transport the blocks of marble to the factory, where they will be turned into some of the most expensive marble slabs in the world. A single slab can cost more than $10,000, depending on how it is extracted and its veins. Some blocks will be more expensive than others. For example, a slab of calicotta marble can cost over $10,000 per ton. Last year, 1.2 million tons of blocks crossed the Italian border to China, the United States, and Germany, while the rest went to local companies and artisan workshops scattered along the coastal villages of western Tuscany. The blocks are often stored outdoors in the block depot until the next phase of marble processing. The marble remains in the depot until an order arrives, which will require them to be cut according to the specific order. In the saw area, the blocks are cut into smaller slabs using 76 diamond saws. The saw cuts slabs as thin as 2 centimeters. After that, they are prepared to be shaped and polished, enhancing the shine of the marble and leaving a smooth, shiny surface. The craftsmen who work with Carrara marble continue a traditional artisanal tradition. The marble extraction process ends in the port of Carrara, where the pieces of marble are loaded onto ships and transported to designers of the most exclusive buildings in the world. If you want to know how tomato ketchup is made, watch the video on your screen. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and share it with someone who might be interested. Also, subscribe to this channel and enable notifications to keep learning. Thank you for watching.